Jorge Masvidal pulling out of his scheduled fight with Leon Edwards due to an injury. Nick Diaz showed interest and commented on Brett Okamoto's Instagram post saying, put me in. Hamza Chamayev reacted and tweeted, you're too old for the bro at Nick Diaz 209. Let me fight with your brother at Nick Diaz 209. Dan Hardy recently took a dig at Tyron Woodley's loss to Jake Paul. He tweeted, so you're not going to sign the contract then, at T Woodley. You've proved my point for me. You actually are the frozen one. Couldn't beat a YouTube kid, so definitely won't fight someone who's been out for a decade. Conor McGregor had good words to say about rising prospect Paddy Pimblett. He tweeted, very excited to see what he can do. A great representation for the UK and for Liverpool. Rooting for him. After winning the interim UFC Bantamweight title at UFC 267, on the ESPN MMA Pan for Pan rankings, Piotr Jan was voted in 7th place. Aljamain Sterling reacted and tweeted LMAO him and TJ take 25 minutes to win over our opponent are beat in 88 seconds. Somehow the temporary champ is ranked 7th. The ranking committee is a joke. A three round welterweight bout between Stephen Thompson vs Bilal Mohammed has been targeted for UFC card on December 18th. Stephen Thompson is coming over a unanimous decision loss to Gilbert Burns and Bilal Mohammed is coming over a unanimous decision win over Damian Maya. Justin Gaethje on the Andy and Florian podcast revealed that he was paid $1 million for his fight with Michael Chandler. He also explained that he was not happy with referee Mike Beltran for not allowing him to recover after an eye poke. I mean, so it's, you know, it's, a, it's a, like a 50 second sequence of events that is just, just blows my mind whenever I think about what, like, what actually happened. So I get poked in the eye, he calls timeout, you know, but I, the only reason I can understand why he called timeout was he was absolutely terrified of the heat that was being thrown right. in that cage. He says timeout from like six, you know, four feet away and does absolutely nothing to get in between the action and allows him to punch me, you know, and, you know, breaks, he calls timeout, stop, we stop. And he looks at me and he's like, are you good? And I was like, no, I'm not good. He just poked me in the eye. Right. And then immediately after that, he says, are you good? And then so in my mind, you know, I'm, I I think he's referencing the punch that just occurred. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm good, you know, because as a fighter, you never say you're not good of course. to continue. Right. So I'm like, yeah, I'm good, you know, like from the punch. And then he says, okay, fight. And then I was like, no, I need my time. He poked me in the eye. And then he looks directly at me and he says, you said you're good, fight. And he never looked at my eye. He never expected, you know, he didn't even take one second to, to see if I was affected. And so I just, going back, I just can't understand how it happened, why it happened, or what the fuck happened. You know, so you met, you know, once you call timeout, you've already, this the procedure starts. You know, there's a procedure that starts, there's a, there's a definition, there's a rules. You know, there's just a procedure. And he absolutely just skipped over the entire procedure. Right. Yeah, I think he messed up, you know, not getting in between the action and then exasperated it by, you know, not inspecting my eye and not giving me the time. It's just crazy. Like, what if I would have got knocked out? Like, that was a big punch. What if that would have knocked me out? You know, and those can change the whole, the whole, the whole direction of a fight, you know? So it's just crazy to me that that it wasn't uh wasn't a big issue because for me it was a huge issue like of course that's a million dollars that you know if Bro. i lose that's so much money off my table and you know it was a big it was a big thing of events and then he you know and i hate that i hate to uh, to critique the guy or you know criticize him so bad I, I mean he's human and we make mistakes and i just think that i don't know if like Again, the heat that is coming in that cage, like I don't know if they're if they were ex not expecting it, but pretty much every ref that I step out of there with is has a look in their eyes, and, and it's a look of they're shook, you know, like they're right, they're right, a little bit right, right. intimidated. By no, I get it. What, what just occurred, um, and and I understand that, and but this is real life. Like this is not. I keep. I need them to be like in real life, real game mode. Like they're in practice mode whenever you know we're not dealing with seconds anymore this is way less than seconds you know and, and if you're gonna break action you've got to put your body in there like you right, need to take right. a shot yes if you're, gonna get, if you're gonna get hit that needs to be okay 